All right, everybody. So it is Saturday, November 28th, almost in December already. Oh, my goodness. This year, this year is just zipping right by. So I haven't had a chance to put a lot of futures trades up this last couple of weeks or several weeks, actually. Just been really busy with other things. I have been taking some future trades. Just haven't had a chance to get the recordings and then put them on YouTube and all that. It takes a lot more time than you, than you would realize. So I just wanted to make a quick video. It shows you uh, one of my trades that I did get to record and also goes over the um, the last uh, week or so in the futures market using each one of the algorithms. And I think I'm going to start doing this every week because I think it will help students out to see what the red light, uh, green light, the sniper, and the red dot strategy, how it performed each day so that there's no cherry picking. You see exactly how the chart looks. You see all the algorithm switches, and you see exactly how everything played out. So I think that will be pretty helpful for you all to, to see. So I'm going to go over that. But before I get into that, I just wanted to give you all something to think about. So we learned a lot in 2020 this year, not just in you know trading and all that stuff and just personal growth and whatever, but you know, we all learned how vulnerable you know the workforce is in this country, in the United States. So we learned that you know it doesn't matter if you're with a great company with the pandemic, um, you can find yourself out of work. And there are companies that are still you know laying people off. Like Disney's got 38,000 people. They've announced that they're laying off. Um, which already started and is going to go to March. There's airlines and hotels and all kinds of places laying people off. And when those businesses are laying people off, then the support businesses that you know clearly aren't going to be working for you know doing stuff for them because obviously nothing's going on if they're laying all these people off. Those places will start laying people off, and the chain reaction continues. So we found out how vulnerable um, everybody can be when uh, something like this shows up and. You know, it's it's good it's good to reflect back and ask yourself, you know, are you still employed or did you get laid off? Are you on furlough? You know, if you're lucky enough to still be employed, what does that look like next year? Or will you be next? You know, how will your family, you know, get by? How are you going to make money? How are you going to eat? How are you going to pay the bills? Like, you know, all that stuff. It's uh, it's a good time to start planning if you haven't already. You know, trading the markets doesn't have to be with my strategy. It could be any strategy. And obviously, you're watching this video because you're interested in the markets. The markets give you that freedom to be able to work from home. You don't have to leave. You don't have to go get infected. You can stay in your house, you know, and then you can make a living and you can get food and pay the bills and all that stuff with trading. But it's not easy and not a lot of traders are successful. Most traders are not successful. It takes a lot of practice. So if you're thinking about getting into trading or you're kind of playing with it or you're you know, you've been a losing trader and you're looking for, you know, ideas to become a winning trader. Now's the time to get on the gas, stop procrastinating and really learn um, how to trade. Whether it's, with, you know, it doesn't matter if it's my strategy or somebody else's or your own, whatever it is, practice, get in the sim. Don't trade with real money. That money's too valuable right now. You can't afford to lose it. Trade in the sim, get really good, be really consistent, you know, maybe double your sim account, triple your sim, whatever it is for you before you click over to real money. And then the most important thing, traders, when you get into real money, and you should practice this in the sim, is having an effective scaling ladder for your trades. How are you doing your risk management? You know, slowly scaling up your position size, all that stuff, really important. Without good risk management and a good trading plan, you're gonna lose even with a winning strategy. Every time you're gonna lose. So you need to have, the most important thing is having a good risk management plan. So, and if you're a, a trader that's already been trading and you've been losing, maybe the strategies that you're using are winning strategies. They just don't fit you. They don't fit your personality. They don't fit your lifestyle. They don't fit your goals. There's something about you that those don't fit. And that's why it's a losing strategy for you and a winning strategy for somebody else. You need to find something that fits you. For me as a trader, I didn't find anything out there that fit me. So I had to create my own thing. And then what I realized is because of my personality, I don't trade well with technical analysis because it's too subjective and then there's confirmation bias and then I'll, you know, I'll be looking to justify my thoughts and rather than just looking at what the chart is telling me. So I don't trade well with those. So I, I needed to come up with an algorithm to tell me what the best highest probability entry and exits are. I needed something to give me the, uh, something to trade against. So I needed to have a you know, defined ceiling and floor. So and that's why I created an algorithm to trade off of. Some people, they don't want to trade off algorithms. They want to be able to you know, be in the game and, and you know, play momentum and all these other different kind of things, and that's great. You have to find your, what, what fits your personality and your lifestyle goals. Don't wait until you find yourself out of work because trading with money that you need is the worst thing you can do. That's a, a recipe for disaster. You want to trade with money you don't need. So 
Don't wait until it gets bad and say, how am I going to make a living? I'm going to be a day trader. That is not the right time. So um, my advice to all of you going into the next year is start right now. Be ready for next year. If this pandemic gets worse, how are you going to provide for your family? How are you going to pay your bills? You know, what are you going to do? So start to start that now. Okay, so let me show you my trade that I took this week. Um, I'll make it a, sh a short little piece and then we'll get right into the overview so you can see the algorithm working. Okay, so let, let's get into the to the, to the trades for this week. So I'm going to show you a video on the one trade that I, I was able to record. And then I'm going to go over after that video, and it'll be short. I'm going to go over what the algorithm did over the last week so you can see it in action. And you can see exactly how the week played out. And um, hopefully you'll learn a lot from that. So let's get into it. All right, so it's November 25th, and uh, we got a red light, green light here. So we're going to get up in short with one share. This is my future strategy, red light, green light. When I trade futures, um, let me show you, actually. Let me go ahead and uh, take this. Restore. Active trader off. When I trade futures, I trade these three strategies at the same time. So I have my sniper, my red light, green light, and my red dot. So I keep all three of these up. This is how I watch my monitors. And then when one of these trades triggers, then I maximize. And then I get in there and uh, make the trade. So that's how I run my futures market. Um, but so right here we had a, a little sell-off. We're coming into a support area, though. So we'll see if this is going to rally down here and get our target. Or will it make new highs and get us stopped out? So we'll see what happens. I'm going to finish marking this up. And then I'll bring the conclusion to you as soon as we get there. All right, so now that I got that in, I'm gonna go ahead and add some alerts. I kinda of wanna keep an eye on what's going on with this without having to be in the room. So uh, create alert, single, at or above, create. And then I wanna know when, um, yeah, so that'll basically give me an idea of when I'm about to get, you know, I'm on the way to getting stopped out. And then I wanna know when I need to move my target to the halfway point, or when it gets to the halfway point, I'm gonna move my um, stop to break even. So create alert, single, at or below. And then again, this is a text message and an email that it sends me. And then when I get to my target right here, create alert, single, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, at or below. And then I can come and move my stop down to uh, to my, my target and give, the, give this uh, an opportunity to uh, keep on running. So maybe I can squeeze a little more out. So there we are. So we're in this trade, red light, green light, futures strategy with the algorithm, and hopefully it will be a winner. All right, traders. So there you go. So a little win right there. So I got my alert this morning early, and then, um, you know, and then I was like, all right, I'm just going to stay in bed. And then, uh, sure enough, look at that. Nice winner, winner, winner. So that worked out really, really well. And uh, it's always nice when you can make money while you're sleeping. So that'll close out that. Uh, I'm going to take this alert off. So there we go. And then, uh, so yeah, so we're up 73 bucks so far today. We'll see if any more trades show up. Okay, so we're starting with uh, the red dot strategy because um, this will be the fastest one. So we're, the week starts on Sunday for the futures market. So we got Sunday right here. And then uh, we're going to go through this week. So the way this works is we need to have um, all black bars like this. And then it turned green without, a, uh, without any uh, red dot. So we had red dot beforehand, so no good. It has to be all black, then green with no red dot. Let me make sure that we're seeing the whole thing here. There we go. So and if we don't get that, we don't trade. So the red dot strategy is a low frequency, high success um, strategy. So if we look at uh, Sunday and we just scan through here, there uh, there is no trades this week. So red dot, no trades. And uh, you know, and as trades come up, as I'm going to do this every week, so you'll be able to see when they do pop up. So no trades for this week. So let's moving on to the next one. Maximize. I'm going to go with uh, sniper. This will also be fast because it's on the four hour candle. Okay, so here we are on Sunday. So, and the way this one works is, let's go back some so you can see. So whenever we go from gray to uh, this tan color and we have a green dot, that's uh, that's an entry. 
If we go to a purple dot and we go back to a green dot, that's a reload on the purple. Green dot, take another shot, and that's an entry. So that's how that goes. If it's a short, it's the opposite. So anytime it goes purple, it's reload, or, or green, it's reloading, and then purple is the entry in the gray space. So right here we went from uh, tan to gray, indicating a short, which was a winner. And then we reloaded, and then we got another short, and so forth. But we would have just been in the one trade for a while, so we wouldn't have taken any of these reloads. But if we just showed up to the party, these could have been entries. So if you're my student, or one of my students and taking the course, and you really have a good understanding of this. But I'm just going to run through it because um, this will help the, uh, my students out quite a bit, I think. So here we are. So starting the week off, um, we closed out the week with a, you know, Friday we had an entry. So I'm going to mark up this whole thing real quick so that you can, um, so we can save time. All right. So it gives us our entry. Then we have our, um, our stop. Actually, it's a little bit lower to start with. And then we got our target. The target on the sniper strategy is a close above the green line. So right here you can see where it's tan, so it's only long plays. When it's gray, it's only short plays. So we're in the tan zone, so we're in the long zone only. So we had our, uh, en our entry indicated here, winner. And then we, um, so yeah, so in their winner, then we reloaded right through here. New entry, winner. Then we reloaded right through here, and a new entry, and this is still open. So hopefully in the next week, this will be a winner. So this week we had um, two trades with the, uh, with the, with the sniper and uh, both of them uh, winners. And the third one is uh, still open and active. All right, so that is the sniper strategy. So a nice week on the sniper strategy for those of you who are trading. And then uh, when I do futures trading, I trade all three of my strategies. I don't just trade one of them. So I trade all three of them to get uh, the results that I wanna get. So then I have a red light, green light, which we had a lot more trades in. So we're going to erase those lines so that it doesn't interfere with red light, green light. I'll mark it up real quick, and then uh, we'll bring it to you. All right, so here we are with red light, green light. And just, again, if you're one of my students, you've gone through the class, you got all the details on it. But for those of you who are not, I'll just give you a quick, really, really quick high-level overview. So basically, a short play is a green to red with this little dash below the line. That indicates a short. And it has to happen within two bars. That dash has to be below the line within two bars. So like right here, green or red to green would indicate a long if the dash was above the white line within two bars. So that would be no trade. So here we have a trade, no trade on the, on the long side anyway. And then we have a trade on the short side, right? And we have a trade on the long side because red to green dash is above the bars, okay? So, and then we have our stop set move around dep depending on what's happening in the trade and all that stuff. So. Um, basically, the way it, it works is once we get in the trade, a stop is um, two as a two R stop or two lines. So we would get in here one, and then two, the stop would be here, and then our target would be here to, to start with. And then as soon as the uh, trade moves 50% of the way, we move our stop to break even plus a couple bucks. It's a numbers game, and by doing it that way, the numbers work out really awesome for me at the end of the year. So right here we have uh, red to green, or uh, green to red rather, indicating a short play. And winner, this closed out the last week, Friday into Sunday. Um, so that was pretty sweet. And then our next trade didn't trigger until here. So here it came down, we didn't get our target, but we crossed the 50% marker. So we made, you know, break even plus a couple bucks on that trade. And then, um, then we kept on going over and it's a good thing. See, that's why we get out. We don't stay, get greedy and stay, we follow the rules. 50% break even plus a couple bucks. If we didn't, then we would have rode this to a loser, right? Instead of taking a few dollars. A lot of times too, just like in the day trading strategy, um, when when we have a tower candle here, indicated by the uh, little dash line being inside the candle, a lot of times this is going to happen, or at least a retracement of half or all of this candle. So those are a higher risk play whenever you see that dash inside the, inside the candle. So like over here, we see the switch happen, um, green to red, dash is below, but our, our, this dash is way above the candle, right? So that's a pretty positive sign there. But when it's inside, higher risk. All right, so there we go. So we jump in right here, and then on our way down, got our target, see you later. So pretty sweet. So some of you may have got stopped out on this. Um, this is the trade, I believe, that I showed you. Um, some of you, or maybe it's not, maybe it's over here. Yeah, I think this is it. So some of you may have gotten stopped out on this. If you went 50% and moved your stop to break even plus a couple dollars, you, uh, you might have got stopped out right here before you got full target. This happened in the middle, uh, you know, seven in the morning. 
So I did. I was sleeping when this happened, and uh, so I was able to take advantage of the full trade. So there you go. Um, next one. So there's a couple trades within this trade. So I'm just going to show you the first one. It depends on when you would have got in. You know, if you were paying attention at, at 12:30 at night, then you probably would have took this long right here, and then it would have come all the way down, almost stopped you out, and you'd be back in the well, kind of break even right now. So in pro you know good possibility of uh, hitting your target on this one because sniper is also set up for a long play right now. So when you have sniper, red light, green light, and red dot all saying one direction, it's a pretty positive sign. Doesn't mean it'll be a winner, but the odds are pretty good. So that's one trade that's in there. So so far we don't have any losers. We just have some partial winners. Um, so we're gonna remove this drawings. So that's if you if you got it there at 12:30 at night. If you didn't and you're up early and you got this short at seven seven in the morning, then you would have come down and just either tagged out a winner or you would have got break even plus a couple bucks. So either way, no losing trades. And then we'll remove this one. Or if you were to catch this uh, the next day because you didn't trade and you popped in and saw this 12:30 at night again on Friday, looks like. 12.30 in the afternoon maybe, 12.30 at night, 12.30 at night, um, here we are, this is Friday here, so, yeah, 12.30, so technically it's it's Friday, but, you know, crossing from Thursday night into Friday, you would have got in right here, and you would have got your uh, your target and your winner right there, so no, no losers this week with red light, green light, sniper, or red dot, so that's the recap, uh, short recap for the futures market, this week and then I'm going to try to do this every Saturday so you can see how it is no cherry picking um, you see exactly what's playing out and then as you get used to it you see the switches like this is no trade because this little dash is not above the line within two bars you know so whereas this one was above the line and this one is above the line so that's why it's there all right, everybody, so that's the futures market. We'll see you on Sunday night when the futures reopen. So something I mentioned in the beginning of this video was risk management, having a good risk management plan and finding something that fits your personality and your style. <laughs> You're my little daughter. So it's daughter and daddy day and I'm working. So you gotta find something that fits your... What? Yeah. Music? Yeah, yeah, give me one second, I'll give you music, okay? Give me one second. Uh, a fire truck. Yeah, fire truck. Listen. So good risk management plan is really important. So if you go over to 2020daytrader.com, you can sign up for any of my classes. They're all free. All my education is free. And if you want to skip the algorithm part, you don't care about it, you don't care about my trading style or any of that stuff, you just want to know what I do for risk management, skip and go straight down to risk management and see if there's any ideas in there that may help you with what you're doing. You know, maybe all of it works for you or maybe just a piece of it works for you or maybe you hate all of it and now you know what you don't want to do. So all that's free over 2020daytrader.com. Um, sign up for any one of the classes. Each risk management uh, course is tailored to what the course is, whether it's day trading, swing trading, or futures trading. Check it out. See if that can help you out. Be ready for 2021. Hopefully this uh, pandemic goes away. But if it gets worse, make sure you have a plan to take care of your family.